I have another Happy Mail package to share. This one came all the way from Finland. This one is from Lada, and I will put a link to her channel below because she has some really good videos. So, I haven't even looked through here. I don't know what's in here. So, let's just dive in and see what we find. And what we find first are these little... Oh, oh they're envelopes! Oh, I thought they were just little scraps of paper cut perfectly. <laughs> but look! Well, this is a shape you don't see often or ever. Oh, these are fabulous. Oh, I love this lot because it's unusual, you know? These, you know, if I had what I've been wanting or some of those Moo cards for business cards, oh, they would fit perfectly in there, wouldn't they? Oh, these are going to be fun. Loving, loving, loving those. And some postcards. Oh, very cool. They are featuring... Okay, what is those, the, the, those, that uh, Japanese opera called? You know, it's got the name. I wonder if these are characters from the opera because it, it gives the name and it says is an old female character's stress on singing, but some of them also emphasize on speaking and posture action. This tells me this is probably actually from Japan because <laughs> um, the translation is, you know, slightly off. But it's talking about the, the costumes and what these characters represent. So I'm wondering if this is from... Uh, one of those Japanese operas whose name I, is, has slipped my mind. Okay, I'll figure that out at some point. But these are very cool. And the colors are just... Ooh, I really, really like these. These are great. Thank you, Lotta. Oh, look. Look at these napkins. Okay. And I bet I've probably never seen any of them before because that's the way it always is with napkins. I would think by now I've seen them all, but no. And so far... I, whoop! Jason! Okay. Damn <laughs> yeah, dog! You do not have a dog, it's you! I'm so sorry. Okay, Jason goosed me and turned to run from me because I was after him and knocked over the trash can. <laughs> so while he's cleaning that up, I'm going to try to pretend like nothing happened and go on um, looking at these lovely napkins. Don't. Don't. Now I feel him creeping up behind me constantly. <sighs> napkins. Where were we? Oh, look at that. Never seen any of these. Very cool. Oh, look at the colors. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that wants to be yes pasted, you know, and then collaged onto something. That's what it wants. Oh, cute. Look, it's like a, a cross stitch sampler thing. Cute. Okay. All new to me. Never seen any of them. Thank you. Now... Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, how cute. Look, it's a little thing of lace. It's got three little, three little lace. These are just perfect size for, you know, trim around a, a something, a anything, really. Too cute, and I'm kind of loving the card that they're on. Those are fun. And some little die cut. Are these like, well, they look like, um, fancy coasters maybe or just decorative die cut do -wallies. I don't know but they're really pretty those are nice and ooh, did you do this is this something I saw on your channel or am I just totally dreaming that this is really cool looking and I am not quite um, I don't know why this is looking so familiar it's killing me Okay, I'm going to have to investigate. And it could be just a printed paper. But whatever it is, it's fabulous. I love that design. Very, very nice. Do not forget that till this world is filled with 
R from Dream. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do not forget that till this world is filled with our from dream. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is precious. They tried. Bless their hearts, they tried. <laughs> okay, this is probably a note from Lotta. <clears throat> I'm not going to read it out loud, but I am going to read it. I don't want to want to tear that out of the envelope. <laughs> this is too fabulous. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. So very sweet. That is so sweet. And they've got the same sentiment here. <laughs> Lotta's English is actually really good. Um, so <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping maybe she can tell me what this was in, the thought that this was intended to convey because it's, um, it's a little grammatically off. Do not forget that till this world is filled with our from dream. Oh, I just can't. Usually, you know, you can kind of figure out what they were trying to say, and I'm struggling. I'm not figuring it out. Let me know if you know, Lotta. And thank you for the very, very sweet note. Okay. More goodies. Ooh. This is, like, old and very cool. Look at that. This was done with a uh, fountain, an old fountain pen. Oh, this is very cool. Yeah, I'm not pasting that one in a in a junk journal anytime soon. <laughs> this, I'm gonna have to do something special with this. It's a picture of Helsinki, and it's a a little postcard that was actually, you know used, written on, posted, and they ran out of room, and so they just wrote really tiny all around here. Oh, very cool. And oh look, another one of the little envelopes I love. I'm so easy to please, it's not even funny. And these are, okay, these must be, are they Finnish letters? I don't know if they are, so is that a letter T, or is this some kind of game pieces that, you know, those are not even related, I don't know, because I don't know what that is, and what does the pumpkin have to do with cheese, clearly <laughs> this letter does not represent this thing, or unless pumpkins and cheese have something in common that I'm not aware of, and I, I don't even know what that is. And then there's a reindeer and a cloud. Yeah, these are fun. These look like some kind of game pieces or something. And they are very cute. And these letters just fascinate me. Very fun. And, oh, crinkly paper bags. Look at that. I guess that's what they put their veggies. Do you put your veggies in here at the store? Ours are plastic because we're wasteful that way. <laughs> yeah. And Hess, Hessburger? This immediately made me think of Whataburger. <laughs> we have Whataburger restaurants in, uh, I don't know if it's the South or just Texas, but they're, they're kind of regional. They're not everywhere. That's immediately where I went. Oh my gosh, how fun. Look at all that. Oh, that is fabulous. I see mayonnaise. Look, I can read it. <laughs> Good quality. <laughs> oh, that is so fun. <laughs> and is this a dress pattern? Oh. It looks, yeah, this looks like part of the instructions that would be on a dress pattern in this lovely sort of seafoam green color. Okay, not seen this color before. I've seen you know, various shades of brown. So this one's got kind of a weird slick back on it. That's cool. Okay, various shades of brown, light and dark. I've seen white, but I've not seen seafoam green. This is lovely. Very lovely. And these are for people who really, really know how to sew. 
because that makes no sense to me. It looks like a road map for Pete's sake. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is fantastic. Wow. Okay, these are awesome. I've not seen anything like this either. More dress pattern. And the paper is different. It's got a slick back on it. It's a little different from what I usually see. I love that. This is some, some lot of paper. Oh, very pretty. Oh, look. I bet she was maybe playing with her jelly plate. Oh, and there's some texture in here. Oh, yeah. Maybe these were cleanup pages. Oh, I love these. Look. That might go with that. Oh, and then I need a little something, like something red. Uh-huh. Okay. That's half done already. Look, maybe from here. Look, it's coming together. Okay. See, I'm getting inspired already, Lotta. This is a good sign. Look at that. So pretty. I love this. Fantastic. Oh, these are awesome, Lotta. Thank you. I love these. And here is a supermarket brochure. Look. Oh, this is so... This, wow. This is really different. Oh, how fun. They use a lot more color than we do. Or maybe it's not so much more color. The pictures are bigger. That's got to be what it is. Ours are usually small, so they can cram a whole bunch of them on there. Can you see this? Look how, look at the graphics. Okay, they need to teach our newspaper ad, grocery ad people a thing or two about graphics because these are fabulous. I would buy these ingredients just because that looks good. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, this is, this is much much better than what we usually see here. Ours are more like this, just page after page of this. Which is fine, gets the point across. But this, this sells me. Too cool. And this size and format is very unusual. Never get anything this cut this size and folded top to bottom like that. Very cool. Okay, I love this, clearly. <laughs> and we have some, ooh, really glossy book pages. These are um, costumes from something nation and region. Okay, that's all I can do with that. Um, Scotland, clearly. This is more, this looks like, uh, oh, Switzerland. Ah, oh, they have different lands. How fun. Okay, these are going to be really cool to use. Germany. This says 1700s. Did this give a year? 15th through 17th century. More Germany, France, look. Okay, these are different styles of clothing from different regions around the world in different time periods. This is early Renaissance. This is from Italy. And this is um, Asia Minor. And what was the year? 7th and 8th centuries BC. 
Oh, these are fascinating. This, okay, I really, really love this. You know what I'm really, really loving about it? it? It's got this nice, really glossy paper and these black and white ones. I can color them with my pit pen markers, you know, and because they'd be all blendy. And that's really kind of what I'm dying to do right now. <laughs> I'm just going to shut this off and go color. <laughs> okay, more book pages. I think I started from the back of the bundle. Well, that's okay. Oh, look. Um, a dictionary or a glossary or a, a something with words that I don't know, which always fascinate me. Oh, look. I'm guessing this is mostly all Finnish. <clears throat> I'm not really familiar enough with the language to be able to just, you know, recognize it at a glance. This, this looks almost uh, Russian. Are they talking about Korea? <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And this is part of a postcard or a some kind of card from Volume 65 of Bridge. Was this a magazine thing or something? I don't know, but it's got some Asian text that I can't identify. Let's go with Chinese, just because. Because I really don't know. That's cool. And this looks a little more Japanese to me. You know, like I can really tell. I can't. I did, Taylor, my daughter did tell me um, how to recognize Korean. She said they use a lot of circles because I gave her this one thing to look at so she could tell me what language it was. You know, I knew it was some kind of a, an Asian language. But I had not one I had seen much and it was Korean and there were a bunch of weird circle characters. But this one is very, um, I don't know, I'm guessing Japanese. I'll find out. And <laughs> I don't know who they are or what they're doing, but I love them. <laughs> oh, music which is suitable for movement stimulates compositions. It is natural to translate it into dance. First, listen to the music over and over. Immerse yourself in it. Then start by improvising movements. This is some kind of instruction book for maybe jazz dancing and yeah those instructions are easy to follow you know mm -hmm. thank goodness for those pictures this just makes perfect sense oh man that's, that's fun <laughs> oh my oh gosh Ooh, check out those britches and some big bells on those britches Oh, creative jazz. Okay. Those are fun. And, ooh, these are nice and old. And this is, I don't know. I'm going to uh, take a shot in the dark and say German, because I have no clue. I just pick, picked a language. Okay, this is, we're talking about Jerusalem. Is this Finnish? Maybe? I can't tell. I don't even know if a lot of knows what all these languages are because I know I have a bunch of foreign books but I don't necessarily know what the language is. <laughs> Just because I have the book pages doesn't mean I know from whence they came. This one is confusing. It's off back to that it's almost Russian looking, but not really. Very cool. Okay, oh look, a piece of an old map of... I don't really know. But it's very cool and very aged. And, uh... Okay, it's got these degrees, or these... 
are these um, coordinates? Or is this, because this looks like something from Trig. I took Trig in high school, whatever, and that's just the first thing that came to my mind, although I don't know what that is. See, that could be sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, or maybe that's cosine. Yeah, they're prob I'm probably completely off, and this is some kind of a uh, something else, but it's very cool. It, the, um, you know, the whole linear chartiness of it pleases me. Okay. Oh. Niagara, and that looks like the word America, so I'm thinking this is Niagara Falls, and then these are different... Um, landmarks from around the world, I suppose. Okay, very cool. I like those little pictures. Those are going to be fun. Oh, this one is asking a question of some sort. Look how brilliant I am. And is this maybe from some kind of a language textbook or something? This looks like maybe some kind of a textbook or workbook. That is fun. And another very cool book page in, I don't know, let's pretend it's Finnish because it says 1992 in English. <laughs> <laughs> and Look at this pretty napkin. Oh, she's folded it like fancy or something. Cool. It's fancy folded. And inside is nothing. I feel something. I'm just going to keep digging until I find it. Oh. Oh, she mentioned this. Oh. Oh, his little leg. But look. Look, it's a clean break. Perfectly clean break. I'm going to super glue him right up and he will he will not even know that he's an amputee. <laughs> oh, very cool. This is a clay um she oh, I have it backwards I think. There we go. Yeah. See. He's going to fix up just fine. But it's a handmade clay piece. I love the the crackle crazing effect in it. And let me let me reread her note because she mentioned it in the notes. Um, by a local artisan. It was made by a local Finnish artisan. So this is very cool. And I just think it would make a neat necklace or something. With some different, you know, beads, kind of matching beads. Oh, this is awesome, Lotta. And I've got some great super glue in there. It won't take me five minutes to surgically reattach his little dismembered leg. And then he is going to be good to go. Very cool. I love that. I'm really surprised that that's his only little mishap. You know, mailing clay pieces like that is so hard. They, oh man, it's hard. They just rarely make it in one piece. So he actually traveled fairly well. Okay. Yeah, I'm already designing a necklace in my mind for him. And, oh, cool. Okay, more Yuki book pages. Um, shall we go with Japanese? I think we will for now, since I'm not sure. I'm loving those. And this is really cool. This is... This finish. What? Okay, whatever it is, if it's not finished, it's something that you sent a lot of because I see a lot of letters. They have little dots over them. I'm wondering if that's finished. That where it has a lot of those little dots, and it has a really unusual texture. It's somewhere between tissue and wrapping paper. Um, it's not quite either one, but a little of both. Oh, I love that. Did you hear it? Did you hear it crinkle? It's all nice. Yeah. Yeah, it crinkles really well. <laughs> and these are... Oh, they have different words. These must be from a game. 
Um, yes, I don't know what the game is, but these look like maybe cards from that game. Maybe it's like the Finnish Uno or something. <laughs> I don't know. But those are cool. I have a whole little collection of game cards kind of like this from all different kinds of games. So I'm going to put that in my little collection so that when it gets a little bigger, I will be able to make I don't know what out of them, but something. And this looks like some vellum. This is nice. Nice heavy vellum. Ew. That's great. And it might it might want to be used with this fabulous um laser cut. It's it's on a not really a cardstock, but sort of a linen texture paper. So it's like a little doily, but not really. I wonder if it could do something with the vellum with that. I don't know what. That is cool. And, oh, look. See, I don't see a lot of these. These rectangle... Are they called doilies when they're like this? Or is it like a tray liner? I don't really know. I call them all doilies. But I don't see a lot of these rectangle kind. These are great. And, you know, there's probably four million of them. And I just can't tell. Because <laughs> you know how they stick together. See, look. This looks like one. And then I mess with the corner. And I see that it's at least two. <laughs> probably more. Oh, these are very cool. Uh -huh. I like this because it's unusual. Don't see it a lot. Oh, Lotta, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I love my finished goodies, and I really appreciate you sending them. I know it costs a fortune. Y'all, I think mailing from the U.S. to Finland is more than mailing from the U.S. to Ukraine. I'm not kidding. It's crazy. <laughs> So yeah, this was this was no small expense, and you know not just the postage, but everything you sent was just fantastic. Thank you, thank you, my friend. I really do appreciate it. Okay, um, yeah, I'm gonna get busy because as you saw, I'm already inspired to start putting some of this stuff together. So y'all gotta go because <laughs> I got things to do. The end. This, and you know what I'm really, really, or really, you know what I'm really. really